this case we're going to do a marker beacon test. To get to the marker beacon test, I hit the test functions, navigation, marker. This brings up our marker test screen with our usual frequency, power and modulation on the left, our preset conditions and our test results on the right. Bottom left is our config. We push our config, very simple in this case. We can either use an antenna to antenna connection or we can use a cable connection. In this case, I'm going to use the cable connection. Power, I can change the attribute of the power from dBm to millivolts or microvolts. I'm going to stick with dBm. Exit out of this. Now I'm in my test screen, so I'm ready to test. Push the start test button. Now the art is waiting for us to switch on which marker we like. And the way we do that is simply select. So the outer marker at 400 hertz, I click it, it goes blue. The arts is now generating an outer marker signal modulated with 400 hertz. I then change to the middle, the orange indicator at 1300 hertz, standard across the world, and then the inner at 3000 hertz. So I can effectively switch outer, middle, inner in any combination that I like to switch on different elements of the marker beacon system. In auto, if I push the auto, what's happening now is the arts is generating a signal for the outer, middle and inner. And it will change it continually. So it will go outer, middle, inner, outer, middle, inner. And it will continue doing that process. This is for testing cable connections, instruments and connectors. To stop auto, just push the auto again and we're back into the manual test. I can still go back and select which marker I want to select. Nice simple test. So to stop the test, hit the stop test button, back to the marker page, exit, back to the navigation menu, back to the functions menu, back to the main menu.